good morning students our next topic from skeletal system is the limb on a human limbs are our arms and legs on animals we often refer to them as just legs four limbs are those limbs that are found in the front part of an animal's body which would be our arms hind limbs are those found in the back part of the body which are our legs as you sit and type at the keyboard while you swing on a swing even when you pick up your lunch you are using the bones in your fingers hand wrist and arm an arm is a limb most humans have two arms each coming out of their body just below the neck on the end of each arm is a hand humans use arms and hands to do things like eating playing etc sure your arm wrist hand and finger bones are great for picking up the phone but how are you supposed to run to answer it well with the bones of the legs and feet the human leg is entire lower limb of the human body including foot and thigh legs are used for standing and all forms of locomotion the collar bone is a shaped bone that serves as a support between the shoulder blade and the breast bone there are two collar bone one on the left and one on the right together with shoulder blade it makes up the shoulder girdle a shoulder girdles connect your upper limbs to the vertebral column along the axis of your body the primary function of the shoulder girdle is to give strength and range of motion to the arm the humerus is the bone in your upper arm it's located between your elbow and your shoulder the humerus is an instrumental in supporting many of the arms functions for example it supports all lifting and physical activities humerus fits into the shoulder girdle the humerus is a cylindrical in its upper portion at the shoulder the humerus connects to the frame of the body via the shallow cavity of the shoulder bone it joins with the shoulder bone at the shoulder joint and with two bones of the forearm at the elbow joint the forearm has two bones which are below the elbow bones of forearm provides body weight support when the arms are used during crawling and lifting the weight of the body such as during push ups the hand includes eight bones in the wrist five bones that form the palm and the 14 bones that form the fingers and thumb although these bones are small all are ready to help you grasp think write your name pick up the phone or throw a ball human legs and feet are specialized for two legged locomotion most other mammals walk and run on all four limbs the legs are the two lower limbs of the body they provide support and range of movements the bone in the upper leg is called femur the femur is the only bone located within the human thigh it bears the weight of the whole body therefore it is the both the longest and the strongest bone in the human body extending from the hip to the knee the word femur is a latin word for thigh that is why it's also known as thigh bone femur fits into the hip girdle the femur is the thigh bone which connects to the hip girdle at the upper end and to the knee at the lower end your legs are attached to a circular group of bones called your hip girdle the hip girdle is a ring like bony structure attached to the vertebral column that connects the bone of the lower limbs to the skeleton with the help of a joint which allows freedom of movement 
At the knee, there is a triangular shaped bone called the kneecap that protects the knee joint. Below the knee, there are two other leg bones, the shin bone and the calf bone. These two bones connect the ankle to the knee and work together to stabilize the ankle and provide support to the muscles of the lower leg. The feet and ankles have number of small bones. The ankle is bit different from the wrist. It is where the lower leg bones connect to a large bone in the foot. Next to the large bone, there are six other bones, but the main part of the foot is similar to the hand with five bones. Each toes has three tiny bones except for your big toe, which has just two. People use their toes and feet for two very important things, standing and walking. The bones in the feet are arranged so the foot is almost flat and bit wide to help you stay upright. Learning Objectives Now you know function of both the limbs and girdles in human skeleton and importance of humerus and femur bone in the skeletal system. Thank you students. I hope now you understood the importance of legs and hand in our body. Bye and have a great day.